Okay, we got our next guest. Her name is Dana. She's walking up. Hello, Dana. How are you today? Good, how are you? Where are you going to sit here? Right here. Yeah, welcome to June Versus Live webinar, live from New York City. It's June Versus and we'll drop with cheese. I'm here with Dana. Um, she's also part of the Barracuda Movie Project. Uh, we got a chance to talk to the writer-director earlier, and now we're going to have her talk about the movie as well through her eyes. So, you, what do you do with the movie? Yeah, yeah so, for thank you for having me. <laughs> I know the train sucks yeah. out here sometimes. So, Siobhan is writing, produce, or writing directing the movie, and then I'm producing the movie. And my background is actually not in film. My background is in business. So I have 16 years executive sales experience. And Siobhan and I were in Michigan at the same time last year. He was filming a project and I was visiting family and mutual friend while at dinner. And they were telling me about the film. And I couldn't stop thinking about it. And they were like, you should be involved. And I'm like, I don't have film experience. What do you mean? You should, you should be involved. I was like, ah, I don't know. So the next day, I just, it was all I could think about. And I got a Word document out, 14 pages of notes later. I sent you about a note. I said, I know I said I didn't know how I was going to be involved, but here are some thoughts. Um, and he immediately emailed me back. Here are my so one of my, one of my major, like, things that I saw as an opportunity was, so he was revising the script that was originally supposed to be set after the 2008 market crash, but he was updating it for today, because it's kind of been something that he's had on the shelf, always had a passion for it, but because he's been doing his projects, um, it kind of was in, in the vault, right? And I said, why don't you make this this banker person, a cryptocurrency entrepreneur, like the, the secondary character. And I said, you know, there's tons of opportunity. It's something that's new and upcoming. And so that's how that evolved. And then Twitter came along, and I had no idea that there were live spaces. And then last fall, I was I had just randomly jumped on Twitter. And I saw these little bubbles, and I clicked on it. And then all of a sudden, here's all these voices. And oh, my goodness. <laughs> And really, the crypto world, if you're trying to have a project, you have to be on Twitter. Right. Um, that's where all of the talk is. That's where all the communities are. And at first, there was never an intention to go that NFT route. We were just, I, we had a character in our movie who was involved in crypto. And then I personally have been involved in the space. I've been aware of the crypto revolution since 2014. And then really started doing more research last year at the beginning of the year during the pandemic. And so my Twitter evolution just started with, hey, we want to do some research for our character. But then the more we became involved with the communities from there, it became like a second family. And also we kept on being asked over and over again, why aren't you using NFTs to raise funds for your film? And after about two months of just, it was like, okay, why don't we're gonna give the people what they want? So we started down this journey of, okay, what does that look like? We know nothing about creating a project. So from scratch, and trust me, it has been an experience. We've gone through the gauntlet of, you know, trying to understand, okay, there's so many people out there who have skills, who actually is legit, who is not, vetting people out, having advisors. Like if you're going to do a project, you have to have people who know what they're talking about to help like make you aware of what the dangers are because that has saved us. Um, but our project, what we really wanted to do with it is we're going cross-chain. So our series one collection, which is a fundraising collection to start production on the film, is going to be dropped on part of And then about a few weeks to a month later, we're going to be dropping um, the second part of that, that series is going to be on Ethereum. And so the Cardano community has been just amazing and um, really like the technology. Cardano NFTs are not um, like second class citizens, they're actually native assets, the same as Ethereum and traded the same as Cardano and Ethereum. Um, but Ethereum is the big boy, right? That's where the major players are. Um, and really, you get a lot of purists out there. Yes. Some people, if it's not minted on Ethereum, 
They won't even look at it, yeah. right? no matter who it's from, what it is. They're just purists, right? So I'm glad that you're doing cross chain uh, to raise funds. Yeah, and, and actually, over the last month or so, there's been this like a um, evolution of a lot of cross chain communities starting to build up, which I'm super pumped about because honestly, the only way to adoption is maximalism is good because you believe in. I mean. The only way to survive in this market is to, you have to believe in what is going on, right? You have to believe in, in this technology. But at the same token, there's a point where we're throwing the baby out with the bathwater and we're saying that nobody else can do it right. And I, and I think that when you have the general public starting to dip their toe into this thing and they almost get turned off by the sentiment of people thought, you know what I mean? I, yeah. Back in the business world, I had a boss once tell me, we never talk shit about anybody, any other brand, because one day we might own them. So I kind of take that into consideration, but then also it's kind of like, there are best practices that each team is doing well. So let's come together for the greater good, which is our movie, the whole reason why we're making this movie. It's it's to bring awareness to veterans. It's to bring awareness to the, the mental health space there. And it's to showcase along the way that crypto is not just used for speculation and crime. Every movie out there right now is basically like, whenever crypto is mentioned, it's just to funnel like a billion dollars of, of um, money into some criminal's hands. Right? Yeah, or wallets getting yeah. stolen, the hard wallets. It's just, it's it's mm -hmm. a bad rap in the public eye, for sure. Yeah, so we really are trying to do something different. And so it's really about, hey, if you've ever dreamed about making a movie, and especially me, he's been in the industry, my business partner's been in the industry for 15 years. But somebody who went down the corporate path, but has always had this creative side to me. And I've always wanted to do something like this. And it's like now, with blockchain technology your dreams are possible you know there is a way to get into it and no one can tell you that it can't i mean when we first started working together one of the things that got me really fired up was there were a couple times where he would say they're not going to let us make this movie and i'm like who is they who are you talking about Right. And he was talking about industry, and I'm like, no, you make the you make the movie you want to make. Yes. Like, yeah. and we'll. I was like, you show me somebody that says that we we can't make this movie or that we're not allowed to make this movie, and I will show you somebody who's gonna watch us make this movie. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, want so. you to make it so bad, like yeah. me. And that's you know, I so I met uh, met Dana and Siobhan on a couple nights ago at Noir, New York City. Uh, for the doodles party um we got to talk about this movie right away and it hits really home oh close to home for me you know i'm native american i'm a veteran i utilize the va for uh seeing therapists i completed an anger management course because i wanted to learn how to not see red as long you know and all of these things have helped me and when i heard they're making this movie i'm like you need to tell everyone about this movie because this is such a great thing. Uh, you know, like a positive journey story to how to help you enlighten yourself, you know? So I'm super pumped for this project. I'm so glad that I got to meet you, Siobhan. The whole team is outstanding. If we had more time, I would interview everyone on the team because that's how much I love the project. Um, but, you know, it's been a long week out here. Um, what would you say, like, one of the cool, crazy stories or experiences that you've had this week? Cool, crazy story. Well, so last night, and here's the thing about Rashi. So there are a lot of, um, like, Cardano community members that have bought into the Ethereum Rashi's region tombs. So Sorry. we've become close with, with that community as well. And we were at a party last night, and one of the people that we be, became close with, they were like, hey, we're having a four-story four um, party tomorrow. Would you like to join? And I'm like, a four-story yacht? Yes, I would like to join. Thank you. So that, that's been, it's really cool just to meet people in real life that we've been talking to online for, and, and just being able to see the connection in real life and then be able to have 
you know, everyone here, and they're like, hey, I want to introduce you to this person. Uh, There's been so many people in the ecosystem now who are like, we want to talk about Barracuda. So it's, it's been amazing. Um, and I would say that for anybody who's considering coming to like an NFT conference or any blockchain technology conference, you know, Siobhan had a pass to the conference. I did not. But I have been, so we've been in meetings. We've been at events. We've been at pop-ups. Like we've been tag team, like dividing and conquering because there's so many things. The, the most relationships that you build are outside of the conference. And so I would say that if anybody's trying to get in this space, really try to come to these um, this in real life events, in addition to being uh, in Twitter spaces and um, just be authentic. You know, it's about building the community up, building awareness for what you're trying to do, because you can have a great project. But if you are not engaging with people, there's been films that, I mean, major uh, people in the movie industry have tried to launch an NFT project, but they didn't do the community part of it first. Right. And when they launched, their project did not do well. Yes. Even though they had all these big names attached yeah, to it. Yeah, Anthony hasn't sold out his movie from over a year ago. Yeah. Almost a year ago. So you have to be involved. You have to, you have to actually, it's blockchain technology. It's, you know, um, this tech world, but I love how there's the human side of it too. So you have to you have to build relationships. People can smell these car salesmen from a mile away. They know when it's just about the money. And we're we're really trying to do something different. We're trying to do something that matters, but that also brings value to our holders as well. So our art is gonna be phenomenal. We have 3D artists, we have veteran artists, it's gonna be cool. We're bringing some stuff. And we have Native American artists that are featured too. Awesome. Yes. Follow these guys, you know, helped on fundraise. This is such a great team. I got to meet all of them. I know what I'm talking about. All right. So follow Barrier Put a movie. You're one of my favorite people that I met randomly you. this week. So I'm really glad that you were able to come through and talk yeah, about this Barrier was Kuda. my number one like meeting. That was the coolest thing. He comes up with the glasses and it was just like, hey, and we weren't even going to be at that event. And then all of a sudden we start talking and to learn that you're native and then you're also a veteran. I was like, this was meant to be. <laughs> so that was, that was probably the coolest interaction that I've had this week. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. I'm really glad I got to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for having us. Yeah, for sure. Hang out, have some food and cool. uh, we're going to have another, our next guest come up. Now. Awesome. Um, thank yeah. you. Thanks so much for your time. All right. Thank, thank you. you.